and welcome to the pharmacology class and uh, today's topic is the anticoagulants and anti fatal agents my name is Rafis and uh, let's start the lecture uh, the, uh, and today we are going to discuss the drugs that are useful in treating the uh, thrombosis and the thrombosis is the formation of the un unwanted clot within the vessel and a thrombotic disorders uh, can lead to the acute myocardial infection deep vein thrombosis pulmonary embolism and acute ischemic stroke and um, so usually these conditions are treated with anticoagulants and uh, uh, another disease is a bleeding disorders that usually uh, are results of the failure of hemostasis uh, and also there are tremble embolic diseases uh, and so uh, the most common uh, the most common disease is the thrombosis and that is why we are starting with a thrombosis and a thrombosis is a cloth that adheres to the vessel and uh, that uh, prevents usually prevents the flow of the blood and once uh, uh, the thrombus will, uh, uh, will detach from the vessel, it can float in the blood and it's called a uh, embolus. So uh, both, both of these uh, thrombus are both thrombus and emboli are dangerous because they uh, may prevent the blood vessels to uh, move the oxygen at nutrients to the tissues that leads actually to the hundredna and then to the death of the cells and most commonly the arterial thrombosis occurs in medium sized vessels uh, and uh, usually the arterial thrombosis a thrombosis is rich in platelets and venous thrombosis is usually to, uh, is a result of the blood uh, stopping and also uh, uh, the inappropriate activation of coagulation so uh, deep vein thrombosis uh, usually rich in fibrin uh, and uh, uh, that's uh, that, and that is a little bit different from the arterial thrombosis. So the uh, platelets are on uh, the uh, cells that monitor the integrity of the vessels, and uh, they. Uh, interact with the endothelial cells and uh, prevent the uh, the uh, leaking of the blood out of the vessel and uh, usually platelets are uh, only activated when the vessel is damaged and there is a blood loss and that leads to the formation of the platelet fibrin block, uh, and that uh, recovers the hemostasis. Uh, but sometimes the uh, there is a, uh, the unwanted tr uh, thrombus uh, also created, uh, and it happens with this uh, with the same uh, process that as normal what formation uh, but uh, instead of the some 
pathogenic condition triggered um, uh, with uh, some abnormality. So uh, the platelets uh, monitor the integrity of the vascular endothelium uh, and in the absence of the injury platelets will uh, uh, in the resting state they circulate in the blood uh, and because uh, the vascular is not damaged so they are not activated. The platelets are activated uh, by the decreasing of the uh, endothelium cell secretion uh, of nitric oxide and prostacyclin. So when the prostacyclin it drops then platelets start to activate because uh, that uh, 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 that uh, activates the platelets by decreasing the cyclic adenosine monophosphate and increasing the calcium uh, in the platelets. Uh, and also platelets have uh, receptors that can bind thrombin, thrombic signs and uh, expose collagen. Uh, uh, and uh, in non-damaged vessels, the thrombin and thromboxan levels are low, and the uh, collagen is covered by the endothelium cells, and that is why thrombocytes are not binding to them. Uh, and so uh, are not activated. So and uh, and but when this uh, the collagen is uh, uh, not covered with endothelium, then the platelets will activate it, and that leads to the uh, aggregation of the platelets. Uh, and uh, then the platelets will cover the uh, injured uh, cells and expose collagen uh, and that triggers the chemical reactions results in platelet activation. Uh, and uh, this also changes the morphology of the platelets and uh, they start to release the thromboxane A2, serotonin and platelet activation factors and thrombin. That leads to the cascade aggregation of the platelets uh, and uh, the process is actually uh, uh, self-supporting. Uh, that uh, in, uh, eventually that leads to the formation of the clot uh, and uh, also the fibrinolis so uh, the fibr uh, the fibronolytic pathway is activated uh, and uh, that leads to the growth of the clot and uh, Later, when the plasmin limits the growth of the clot uh, and dissolves the fibrin network, uh, and the or uh, the wound will heal. And uh, the first class that we will discuss today is platelet uh, aggregation inhibitors, and that uh, drugs decrease the formation of a platelet-rich clot or decrease the action of chemical signals that promote platelet aggregation. Uh, the platelet aggregation be, uh, uh, inhibited by uh, cyclooxygenase uh, 1 or uh, inhibitors of the blocking of the uh, glycoprotein 2 b 3 a or ADP receptors. So these are three uh, classes of the drug, like the aspirin uh, is the cyclooxygenase inhibitor and the 
copy the URL and uh, to copy the browse URL and uh, to copy the URL on the uh, ADP receptor in, uh, and uh, uh, antagonist and the up 6 uh, active fibatid and tetrafibon are the glucoprotein uh, 2, 3, 2B, 3A blocks. So we will start with the aspirin. Uh, so the aspirin is the uh, most commonly used syrup for, uh, for that indication. Uh, and uh, it inhibits the uh, enzyme or cyclooxygenase, uh, and uh, the platelets have the type of cyclooxygenase one uh, that is different from cyclooxygenase two that are usually uh, activated with inflammation. But aspirin inhibits both. So this is an aspirin, and uh, in in the process of the inhibition, it uh, detaches the salicylic acetylic group, uh, and that acetylase the uh, the uh, enzyme peptide also and the uh, aspirin is converted to the salicylic acid that is also has an uh, activity, the same activity, uh, but it's less active. So this uh, acetylation is uh, non-reversible, so that is why platelets are inhibited uh, and uh, to recover the platelet uh, activity, the uh, this uh, org organisms have to synthesize new platelets, and that usually takes two weeks. Uh, so, uh, by inhibiting the cyclooxygenase one, uh, the uh, aspirin will inhibit the uh, production of thromboxane A2 synthesis uh, and that uh, decreases the aggregation of thrombocytes because thromboxane A2 is the activating factor for the thrombocytes and uh, uh, that leads to the inhibition of the thrombocyte, uh, thrombocytes aggregation uh, and uh, the effect lasts approximately uh, uh, 10 days and, and uh, the, uh, the repeated administration is required to prolong the action uh, and uh, uh, for the prophylaxis uh, treatment the uh, aspirin is indicated uh, at the doses of 75 milligram per day and the dose can be increased up to 325 milligrams per day so these are low doses of aspirin uh, they uh, are used for prophylaxis of the uh, myocardial uh, in infection and also for uh, to reduce the mortality from the myocardial infection by inhibiting the platelet aggregation. So the uh, the next uh, drugs include the ticlopidine, clopidogrel, prasugrel, and ticargerol. So the these drugs are the p 2 y 12 receptor inhibitors that inhibit the action of the ADP to the uh, receptor, a P2Y receptor, uh, located on uh, uh, platelets. So uh, this 
or uh, ADP is also a activate plated activating factor uh, and that is why on the inhibition of the block of this receptor will decrease the activation of platelets and uh, the popular grill is also used for prevention of uh, myocardial infection or stroke uh, and uh, is also an approach for the prophylaxis of thrombotic events as acute coronary syndromes and uh, uh, other drugs have the same indications and uh, these uh, uh, agents require loading dose for quicker anti packet effect and food interferes with the absorption of diclofenac, but not with the other uh, agents. And uh, adverse effects include bleeding uh, and uh, also uh, there may be some hematologic reactions that limit their use, like agranulocytosis and thrombotic. Uh, thrombocytopenic purpura and also anaplastic anemia. These are not rare diseases but uh, they actually can lead to the death. Uh, so the uh, uh, that is why um, the, the use of the of this drug is limited to severe cases. The next group is the uh, antibodies, and this uh, upsiximab, epibatid, and tirofibon are the antibodies for the glycoprotein 2B3A receptor that uh, is important in the platelet aggregation and are. Uh, uh, by binding with the glycoprotein receptors, these and antibodies block the binding of fibrinogen uh, and von Willebrand uh, factor, and consequently, aggregation of platelets does not occur. So, uh, uh, these receptors are actually uh, blocked from activating with the fever major. Uh, and uh, the antibodies, these antibodies are given intravenously uh, and uh, can be adjunctive therapy through aspirin and uh, uh, the, uh, usually the bolus intravenous injection followed by the intravenous infusion and the uh, adverse effects include the bleeding uh, so uh, and uh, these drugs are very expensive so and also for the same indication is for dipredamol. The dipredamol is a coronary vasodilator that increases the intracellular levels of cyclic adenosine monophosphate by inhibiting cyclic nucleotide phospho phosphodiesterase. Uh, that uh, also prevents the synthesis of thromboxane A2. So I think. Oh, we don't have it here. So, uh, and that uh, decreases the aggregation of the thrombocytes. So they, like they act, the dipredamol will act like the, uh, like the, uh, B2 receptor, B2Y receptor inhibitors. So they also decrease calcium. Uh, but um, but with through the cyclic adenosine monophosphate. 
Uh, so the next group of the drugs is the drugs that act on blood co coagulation and um, the co co coagulation is the formation of the thrombin uh, by the extrinsic and intrinsic systems and they are initiated by the activating of the clotting factors uh, and uh, Uh, and can be activated during the injury. Uh, and both the extrinsic and intrinsic system involve a cascade of enzymes reactions that transform various plasma factors to the active forms. So the this intrinsic pathway. Uh, so that is. Uh, these factors in yellow are inactivated by heparin and uh, there is a uh, black factors these are inactivated the synthesis of these factors is inhibited by coumarins so this is a pathway that activates uh, clotting factors that eventually will activate the thrombin so the prothrombin will be activated to the thrombin and that is irreversible so then after the thrombin activation that leads to the uh, activation of fibrinogen and that converts to fibrin and that is actually formation of the clot. So uh, the heparin is an injectable anticoagulant that uh, increases the uh, uh, the uh, the reaction of antithrombin with the thrombin, so uh, and other coagulation factors, but mostly thrombin. So, uh, in case in the absence of the heparin, the antithrombin three reacts with the uh, thrombin slow, uh, but with the Heparin, so this is a heparin, uh, it uh, reacts fast and that uh, actually leads to the inactive coagulation factor like inactive thrombin, and so that uh, leads to the uh, inactivation of the coagulation. Uh, the heparin and other low molecular weight heparins uh, prevent the fibrin formation and these edges are used for the treatment of acute venous thromboembolies or deep vein thrombosis and are also used for the prophylaxis of post-operative venous thrombosis in patients undergoing surgery for example hip replacement and those with an acute myocardial infection. Uh, and uh, the heparin is also used to treat the pregnant woman because they do, the heparin will not cross the placenta because of the large size and negative charge. Uh, and uh, uh, heparin is administered subcutaneously or intravenously uh, and the uh, low molecular weight heparins are administered subcutaneously and uh, usually uh, heparin is started uh, uh, by intravenous bolus injection as a loading dose followed by low doses uh, or continuous infusion of the heparin and the dose is usually titrated to make the activated partial thrombofastin time uh, one half and two half fold that the normal control uh, the adverse effects uh, include bleeding that is why careful monitoring of the patient 
uh, parameters are required. Uh, excessive bleeding may be managed by discontinuing the drug or treating with the protamine sulfate that is antidote for the heparin overdose. Uh, so also uh, heparin preparation obtained from uh, porcine sources uh, can be antigenic uh, and uh, antigen and these adverse reactions can include chills, fever, urticaria, and anaphylactic shock. Uh, heparin can induce thrombocytopenia uh, that uh, lowers the number of platelets and uh, that leads to the uh, embolism of both venous and ar 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 arterial. Uh, and that in these patients, heparin should be uh, discontinued uh, and can be replaced by other anticoagulant drugs. Uh, so, so the heparin and other uh, uh, direct anticoagulants include the. Uh, Argatroban, that's it, that is synthetic uh, parenteral anticoagulant. Also, uh, uh, bivalirubin and desirubin, that are also parenteral anticoagulants that are analogs of hirudine that is found in the leeches or leech saliva in leech uh, saliva. Uh, so the leeches are can be used as anticoagulant treatment by themselves too. In that case, uh, the leeches are just suck the blood of the patient, and that increases the hirudine uh, level in the blood. And then fontaparinux is a pentasaccharide anticoagulant that is synthetically derived. Uh, so it's a selective factor. 10A inhibitor, so uh, that is uh, selectively binding to antithrombin D. Uh, so, and uh, so these are the direct uh, anticoagulants, and the next group is indirect anticoagulants and all the coumarin derivatives. And the coumarin anticoagulants are uh, uh, act by uh, uh, inhibiting the cofactor functions of vitamin K. Uh, so the warfarin is actually the first one, and the warfarin uh, reduces the uh, in, uh, the warfarin inhibits the uh, reduction of the vitamin K. So the vitamin K is used to activate the uh, protein factors and during the, this process the vitamin K is oxidized so to the vitamin K epoxide. After that the vitamin K is reduced back to the vitamin K active form uh, with the help of the NADP uh, uh, but the warfarin will block this process and that is why the vitamin K uh, active form is uh, depleted and that leads to the uh, uh, to the reducing of the active factors protein factors uh, that have a gamma carboxylative residues or uh, uh, amino acid. So larvine here, uh, particularly is larvine residue, uh, with, uh, which is uh, gamma, so it's alpha, beta, gamma, uh, carbon, uh, has a secondary, second uh, carboxyl group, uh, so it's called gamma carboxylation. So this process is inhibited. And uh, the warfarin is also used to prevent the 
deep vein thrombosis uh, and uh, pulmonary embolism stroke for the stroke prevention and also uh, during the atrial fibrillation of uh, prosthetic heart valves. So uh, the warfarin is absorbed after oral administration has a high bioavailability bio up to 100% and uh, the uh, anticoagulant but anticoagulant effect will develop uh, in several weeks like two three weeks because uh, uh, we need time to deplete the vitamin K and also the active factors that are already uh, activated before uh, starting the drug. Uh, because of warfarin process the placental barrier, a barrier is contraindicated in pregnancy and because it's also is a teratogenic. Uh, and uh, adverse effects include the bleeding, hemorrhage, and that is why it's uh, very uh, 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 it's, mm, it's very dangerous because the uh, once the act the warfarin can be inactivated fast so uh, despite the uh, antidote availability that is vitamin K but uh, vitamin K uh, will not reverse the action immediately it will take several days so that is why uh, the monitoring for the bleeding is very important and uh, uh, so uh, uh, the adverse effects can include skin lesions and necrosis uh, and also the purple chair syndrome that is a rare but very painful a discoloration of the uh, toes caused by the cholesterol emboli from blackness. Uh, so that is usually abs only absorbed with the uh, warfarin therapy. So I think that is all uh, for today and uh, thank you for your attention and see you uh, next week. Bye bye. And if you have any questions and comments, then feel free to fill them below. No questions? No questions. Okay, so uh, nice to hear you, Fatma. Hope, hope to see you soon. Thank you. Hope to see you soon in the university.